Universal daytime protection, you mother freaking need that junk. Hello and welcome back to the universe. Today I'm going to be talking about why I almost love everything from Crave Beauty. I'm a huge, huge fan of Leah Yu and her philosophy and the way that she approaches her business and her brand, Crave Beauty, which is a skincare brand. I've been using Crave Beauty for like probably like a year and a half maybe but I only recently over the past few months bought all of their products. I would say I'm into skincare, but I'm not like a, I'm not a skin, I don't love skincare as much as I love, love makeup. I love skincare. No, I don't know. I like both. Because I believe that good makeup starts with good skincare, that's why I started being more intentional with my skincare routine, skincare practice. I obviously don't have strong science background, I was pre-med for one year and I dropped it because I got a C- in Chem 101 and then I got a C in Organic Chemistry and I don't even care. I'm not even embarrassed. I'm surprised that I got a C in Orgo and a C- in Chem 101. So I'm actually pretty proud of that. So yeah, not a strong science background at all. So I was like, okay, whatever, let me just put what's cute on my skin. But as I started making my own money, I was like, okay, the things that I buy need to have value. I wanna be a more conscious consumer all around. That's why I love Crave Beauty. She's all about sustainability, being like eco-friendly, eco-conscious, and not overproducing products for the sake of producing and launching and relaunching and launching and launching. The whole brand itself is essential oils free and fragrance free. I know a lot of people care about that. I don't really mind fragrance that much. My skin, like I've said before, it's not super sensitive. It's pretty normal. It's dry, but overall it's normal. Yes, I experience irritation and all that stuff, but I'm not super sensitive. I don't have fungal acne. I don't have like cystic acne and I never really struggled with that. Another thing I really like about their website and like the way that they brand themselves is like not to overdo anything. So they have a core series, which is their cleanser, their Ozo Simple Water Cream, their moisturizer, and their sunscreen. And that's kind of telling you, this is the bare minimum. This is what you really need to do. And then they have a supplementary series or a supplement series. And that's where the Great Bear Relief and the Kayla Lala Yahoo. Kayla Kayla Luya. So it's actually Kayla Luya, but it's spelled like Kayla La Luha Yaha. And those two are like, you don't need them, but they're going to help you immensely. So that's a little bit of background about Crave. I don't know that much. I'm again, a connoisseur of Crave. I'm not like an expert at it. I'm not an expert in skincare at all, as I told you. I got a C and a C minus. I love four of them. One of them, I just like. I'm gonna save the one that I like till the very end. So hopefully you keep on watching. So I'm gonna start with the very first product. So it's not in any particular order. I, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to look down because I need to read my notes so I don't say anything incorrectly. The first product I ever purchased from Crave, which was their Great Barrier Relief. And so at the time, last year, when I first bought this, I was like, I just need an all-inclusive serum, blah, blah, blah. And I didn't really know how to use it. And I, so I just kind of do, 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 do. And the first thing I noticed about it was the smell. It smells like Mother Earth. Honestly, it smells like celery. And I was like kind of put off by the smell, but I found out later that it comes from the 10% Tamanu oil, which is Leah Yu's favorite oil in the serum. Beauty, one of Crave Beauty's hashtag is like hashtag press reset. And basically it's like kind of putting a pause and pressing reset on what you're doing to your skin. The whole point of the Great Barrier Relief Serum is to rebuild and restore your skin barrier, which she says in her video is the outermost layer of our skin. And it's that moisture barrier that protects us from all the dangerous things out there that are ready to fight you. While it is a literal shield, it's also something that traps in the hydration within your skin and kind of locks in all the good juices that you got going. And so this serum is supposed to help rebuild and restore that. Basically it helps you get back to having a healthy functioning skin barrier. And when you have a healthy functioning skin barrier, you'll avoid a lot of the topical dermatological issues that can be caused by having irritated or broken skin barrier. So I've said skin barrier 1 million times, but sorry, that's what the product is called and what it's protecting. The Tamano oil basically helps with the elasticity, discoloration, hyperpigmentation, and firmness of your skin. It also includes 2% niacinamide, which helps with the brightening of the skin and repairing and restoring that skin barrier. She recommends using it as a serum when you're 
your skin feels really dehydrated or like you're getting a lot of irritation or you're experiencing just a lot of discomfort in your skin you can use it as a moisturizer but i would say it's a little bit too light for that and when you see it it's a very cream like texture but the way that it goes on your skin it has this watery oily like texture but it's very light like the only thing that I struggle with is the smell of it and Andito hates the smell of this but honestly I don't mind it just smells like a little funky so I repurchased it again because I realized it's this serum is it is the description is perfect like it is all about pressing reset when I feel like oh my gosh my skin needs something but I don't know what but it needs help that's when I use it I usually use it in the evening and I'll use one to two pumps and what I started using it with is my retinol because I know retinol can be extremely drying and this is my first time using retinol I decided to pair it with my Great Bear Relief and so I'm not actually experiencing any dryness while I am starting my first trial of retinol so I use it with my retinol I also use it, you know, after you're on your period you have like hormonal acne it's really really good for that and I think just overall using it a few times within the week really helps to maintain a healthier skin barrier. So I'll probably continue to repurchase it. The Great Barrier Relief is pretty expensive. So it's uh, 45 milliliters or 1.5 fluid ounces for $28. Is that a lot? I don't know. I think it's like pricey, but it's not like most serums are around that price anyways. I feel like for a good conscious skincare line, Crave Beauty is not like overly expensive. That's my personal opinion. If you just started your skincare journey, I feel like this is a really good first serum. I think it's really, it's a really nice, easy, simple, inclusive serum that you can start with and build your routine off of. Next is the Kayla La Yahu La Yaha. Okay, so I watched a video on this before and the way that she says it is Kayla Like hallelujah, Kayla The way that it's spelled is like Kailalu Yaha. You know, so I feel like you can say what you want, Kailaluya, but it's Kailalu Laha. This is part of their supplement series. It is a 5.25% glycolic acid chemical exfoliant treatment. It is not a toner. When your skin is feeling clogged, when you feel texture, when you're lacking like that rate, why are there so many gnats? and when your makeup and skincare is not sitting on your face, this is what's gonna come and rescue you. It's an AHA chemical exfoliant, and AHA stands for alpha hydroxy acid, and basically it unglues the bonds between the dead skin cells on your face and kind of cuts it off and begones it. There is a slight tingle if this is your first time ever using like an active ingredient or an AHA, but not really. Like when I first started using this, this was my very first AHA. I experienced the slightest tingle, but it was so slight. This is probably my favorite product out of the entire brand. Maybe it's because I've never used an AHA before, but when I use it, my skin feels so soft the next day. It is radiant. It looks very much flawless. It my makeup sits well. My texture, my evenness, like everything looks so good when I use this. I honestly want to use it every day, but you're not supposed to. I use it usually three times a week. And as soon as I wash my face, after I double cleanse, that's the first thing I do. So I don't put on toner or anything. I just go straight to the Kayla La Yahoo, put it on a cotton pad and dee -dee 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 all over my skin. It is such a great product. I love the packaging. It has a slight smell like but it's like a really nice fresh and it's a it's a water like consistency so it feels like a toner great 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 aha product uh, i'll probably repurchase this again and again and a lot of my friends have hopped on this train from the feedback that i've gotten they've all really really enjoyed it so i highly recommend this and the kayla la yahoo have is 25 dollars for 200 milliliters cheap or expensive that's up to you and your budget so next we have the matcha hemp hydrating cleanser and this is a non-stripping gentle hydrating cleanser it's very sensitive skin friendly and it's very very hydrating a lot of cleansers can be really like dehydrating and very much stripping so like when you're cleaning your skin there is something called a surfactant basically that the vacuuming up 
everything not just the dirty but also the good things that are on your skin and it's just kind of like swiping your skin clean those things can actually be a little bit harmful because it leaves your skin so dehydrated and there are things that are on your skin that you actually want to keep this cleanser lifts up all of the gunk in the trunk but it leaves what's good for your skin instead of using one super powerful surfactant which is what like strips up your entire skin in their formulation they use a lot milder surfactants and they include a lot of hydrating ingredients as well so it leaves your skin not feeling so dry after you cleanse i really really enjoy this cleanser it has this gloopy jelly like consistency and it foams up for sure but it's not an intense foam and even if it's foaming up like i never feel like dehydrated throughout the entire process and even like when i pat my face dry i don't feel like i need toner you know like i like the smell it has a nice matcha smell and it has these little green bits in it it's little green gloopy bits in it that i don't know what they do but i like it in there the matcha hemp hydrating cleanser is 16 dollars for 120 milliliters you don't need a lot so i feel like this one's actually definitely worth your money next we have the beach shield which is their chemical sunscreen my friends and i well like when we first bought this we were a little confused because it didn't say anywhere that it's a sunscreen my old roommate was like are you sure this is a sunscreen and i was like yes i'm sure it's spf 50 plus pa plus 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 they're not allowed to call it a sunscreen here in america because they haven't approved it the uv filter in the u.s although it's been approved in like the uk and in korea obviously so that's why they can't call it a sunscreen but they can still sell it they just can't call it a sunscreen so the beach shield absorbs really easily into your skin it's not drying and it's not mattifying i wouldn't say that there's a white cast but there's like a glow cast and when it comes out of the bottle, you can see, somebody else said this before, but it's like a condensed milk feel. This sunscreen and the Thank You Farmer, those are definitely my two favorites. The Thank You Farmer though is like a little bit more expensive. I think something that I worry about is like pilling or like my makeup doesn't mix well with my skincare, but I haven't had any problems with it. I think it's a really easy to use sunscreen and it's something that makes me want to put it on every day, which is like the most important thing about sunscreen is you need to be using it every day. I definitely recommend that. It is pretty small. It's only 50 milliliters and it's $20. And it's something that you have to use every day. And I was using very little. And then somebody said, you need to use more than that. And I realized, you're right, I probably do. So I started using more. So it runs out kind of quickly, but universal daytime protection, you mother freaking need that junk. And lastly, the product that I do not love. I like it, but I do not love it at all and it's the oats so simple water cream the biggest selling point about this moisturizer is that it's less than 10 ingredients it's simply a moisturizer the point of this moisturizer is to moisturize one of the main ingredients is oatmeal it's very soothing and it calms irritating skin which makes sense because a lot of people do like oatmeal masks so I, I understand that it helps rebuild and hydrate your skin barrier and it's very clean it has this cream thick cream like appearance but as soon as you put it onto your skin it turns into like a water gel so it has a really really nice feel and i do love putting it on the problem is that it is not at all hydrating enough for me and i really consider myself like normal to dry but i'm not extremely dry so i find myself feeling like kind of tight if i don't apply another moisturizer or extremely hydrating serum before the thing is like yeah it's moisturizing but for me personally it's just not moisturizing enough i think if you're super oily this would be really really good and if you have sensitive skin and nothing works for your skin then this is probably a really really great product for you but for me who has pretty like durable normal to dry skin i really was like what the fudge because i was not expecting it because when you put it on it's like a burst of water is hitting your face but in an hour i was like oh i hate that tight feeling so much too so i was like oh my gosh what do i do i cannot believe this i don't love this product oh my gosh oh my gosh something must be wrong with me but uh no it's just not hydrating enough for me and i so i have to like make it work i have it on today but i i applied the great barrier relief serum before and i also obviously applied the sunscreen and my primer and my mist was all like hydrating so like you can make it work but i don't want to have to try to make my moisturizer work like your moisturizer is just supposed to be your last step i don't like the fact that i have to either double moisturize or add a different moisturizer or add like another hydrating serum when the whole point of the moisturizer is just to moisturize 
and I like the feeling and I like the idea, I like the concept and I like everything about it. It's just not enough for my skin. So I don't love it, but I do like it, but I probably won't be repurchasing it. But I think there's definitely a skincare group out there that probably really needs a moisturizer like this. And it's 80 milliliters for $28. The thing is like, because I use so much when I use it, I don't know, it doesn't go as long as other products do. So other water gel creams I've used, I don't need as much, but this I see myself like using two to three times as much as I would a different cream. Not my favorite, but very thoughtful product. And I just love Leah Yu so much. So I feel like everything she comes out with is intentional and it, it's impossible that it can work for everyone and everything all the time. So I'm not mad. It's just not my favorite. So yeah, that was hopefully not too long of a review of every product. If you want to try out this brand, I feel like Great Barrier Relief or the Kale Laliahu is the best first thing to go for because those are the most unique products. I think, of course, cleansers you can find, sunscreens you can definitely find. There's a plethora of sunscreens out there and there's a plethora of cleansers. But when it comes to an all-inclusive serum, I think this is really a really unique product that makes the brand stand out. And same with the glycolic acid. It's just so good. I love it so much. That's it for me today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, and I've hit 700 subscribers. Yahoo! It's um, I don't have to pressure myself, but it's very exciting. So thank you again And if you haven't already you may subscribe wherever it's supposed to be you can also check out my Instagram at the universe be nice to your parents wear a mask and put on sunscreen. Okay. See you next time. Bye